D2 from Anderson. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Anderson's got eight points in the quarter. And he could be the guy to put this game out of reach. Yeah, that's a great call by you, Greg. You're right on top of it. He's a player that knows exactly how to seek out that juggler. Setting the floor for the Hornets. Baca is up. There was Zeller. And there's Kemba Walker. Then there's Batum. Here is Anderson following the three by Charlotte. No good on the three. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. Shots good by Walker. Here's Paul. Anderson outside. Hunter kicks to Anderson. Paul for three. Now the dish to Green. Outside Leonard. He feeds it to Anderson. Another shot. It's good. And he's now got the double double. 10 points and 12 rebounds. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Outside, Walker kicks it to Ibaka. Back to Walker. And another three for Charlotte. He's starting to heat up from outside. That's his second this half. Walker's gone 5 of 11 from the field. Ball outside. Anderson the screen. The feed now to Leonard. Over in the corner, Green. And stolen by Zeller. Walker with it. Over in the corner, Batum. Try three. The rebound by Anderson. Anderson's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. And stolen by Zeller. Fast break now for Charlotte. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Talk about great numbers for Zeller. Eight rebounds and two steals as well. He's piling up the rejections to go along with the tremendous work he's done on the glass. It's been about the paint and the way he's been able to control it all game long. Finally, he's starting to convert after working his way to the line time and time again. We'll see if he can maintain the pace. Paul, the ball. He's picked up by Walker. Deep two from Anderson. Paul dishes to Anderson. Over Zeller. And the shot's good after hitting off the rim. Anderson's got 12 points here in the second half. Down low. Here's Zeller. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It will be three points if he converts at the line. And, and that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Paul, right side. And he gets it to go from the corner. And he's now got the... Hornets trail by seven. Outside, Walker. Here's Potter. The rebound by Anderson. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Paul passes to Anderson. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. A great feed, and that assist gives him a triple-double. You, you got to love that kind of player, able to get it done in just about every facet. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Ibaka, no luck. He's still looking for his first three-pointer of the second half after making just one in the first. And Anderson kicks to Leonard. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Hornets trail by 10. Outside, Walker. Ibaka outside. Again, Ibaka missing. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Kicks it out to Paul. This one for three. 
hits the three-point bomb. You might not think of him as a laser three-point shooter, but that shot was there for him, and he had to take it. And here's Walker. Here's Zeller. Anderson with the block. And Paul with a clear path to the hoop. And finished off by Paul. Oh, are you kidding me? I mean, that's a point guard playing like a power forward. And he can do a little bit of everything out there. Yeah, he torches defenders in all kinds of ways. When he's on the floor, he's a matchup headache. Outside Curry. He kicks to Beasley. That's a two from Paul. It's a very good look and converts. And, and chalk up a few more points for him there. This has been a one-sided game in just about every area. Absolutely. I echo that sentiment. Their offense, their defense. I mean, it's all been terrific. Now here is Ibaka. But two. This is Dizella. Here's Potter. Offensive rebound to end the drought. It doesn't go for him. Yeah, the offense seems completely in disarray. Exactly. But at the other end, it's one bucket after the other. This run is getting out of hand right now. Anderson. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. And that's now 17 points for Mr. Incredible. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And Walker kicks to Zeller. Beasley with the steal. Here's Curry. And the layup falls. 133 left in the fourth quarter. Walker the pass to Ibaka. Batum dishes to Ibaka. Outside, Walker from the arc. Good for his sixth make in a dozen attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. Another baby bottom smooth stroke there. I mean, that's perfect form he's showing at the three-point line. It's Beasley on the wing. And Leonard has it in the corner. Here's Anderson. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Tested. I mean, it's nice to be able to add to the lead without having to really work for it. I'll say, I mean, that's when you expect the defense to be tightening up, not backing off or backing up. Bertinus, he's checked in for Leonard. And the Hornets with possession here. Pass to Beverly, to the paint. Charlotte moving the ball around. Cans the shot from the wing. They clearly look like a different team now. Suddenly, they've got some energy out on the floor. Yeah, but it's come a little too late to have a real impact on the game, though. We call this box four window dressing. All it's going to do is make the numbers look a little better than it was. In the corner, Abaka with it. Outside, Batum. And another three for Charlotte. Three points. Now, here's Paul. And Anderson has it in the corner. Batum brings the double team. You too. Six to shoot. Passes it to Beverly. So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a...